Krishnas, Sivaingre, Seisi, Bhakti, Vedanta, Sanghara, Shubhaki, Ananda, Budi, Vaishnava, Vindigecha, Charjana, Stapi, Gita, Ananda, Gauti, Krishna, Chaitanya, Pavani, Tananda, Shri Advaita Gadarha, Shri Vasri Gouda Vakta Vrindadi, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopapadina, Shyam Kunda Radha Kunigram Dejar, Vandavajam Dejar, Madhuradam Dejar, Vitam Dejar, Pongamai Gejai, Yamanamai Gejai, Tadasi Devi Gejai, Bhakti Devi Gejai, Samavira Bhakta Vrindadi Gejai, Gouda Vakta Vrindadi. All glories to the assembly of 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 All glories to the so we continue English, Deutsch, English. Okay. So we continue reading from the Transcendental Diary. Travels with this divine grace, they see Bhaktivedanta Samhita Bhagavad. November 1975 to April 1976 by Hari Sauni Das. It is called Dira Brata, determination. These boys and girls are Mahatmas. Mahatmanas tu mamparta, daivam prakriti mashrita, pajantananya manaso, get babu tadamabaram. O son of Vita, those who are not deluded, the great souls under the protection of the divine nature. They are fully engaged in devotional service because they know me as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, original and inexhaustible. This verse is applicable here. If these boys were under the material nature, they would not take so much risk. They are Mahatmas, they are real Mahatmas, not that long beard and saffron clothed Mahatma. They are unswerving, uh, unswerving in their determination, Dira Brata, all glories for the American devotees. I hope this letter finds you and all the Sankirtan devotees well. You ever will wish A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. Book distribution is going on enthusiastically all over Europe as well. And devotees there are also taking risks. Yesterday, Alanath Swami, oh no, not Swami, <laughs> just Alanath at that point. Yesterday, Alanath told Srila Prabhupada that in some places in Western Europe, the devotees are being arrested simply for selling the books. He wanted to know if they should make some uh, secret arrangements for selling Srila Prabhupada's uh, selling Srila Prabhupada's books. Prabhupada replied, they, uh, why secret? Take permission from the uh, courts. Alanath said that it wasn't possible. Prabhupada, however, said that if arrested, we should use the opportunity uh, to present our case in court. This is very important book. The government should allow us to sell. Present in court, the professors of pen opinions, how they are giving standing orders. Why the state should restrain distribution, uh, why the state should restrain distributing knowledge? Do they want to keep their men in darkness? You have to preach like that. Adversity never dawns, Prabhupada. He has a firm conviction in his mission and is prepared to fight to establish Krishna consciousness in his God-forsaken world. Yeah, this is uh, mentions here Alanath. Yeah. Alanath. So he actually he came back to Germany at that time. 
Uh, no, actually, he didn't go anywhere. Oh, else. So anyway, Prabhupada, you know, he was presenting you know, his doubt if we should actually, I say, do something like uh, illegally in secret like that. <laughs> yeah, but you can see here that Prabhupada was actually you know, more intelligent. He said that uh, you, know, you should go to court and establish. Uh, you know, I mean, these books are very important for humanity. For the education of humanity. Uh, you know, I was just mentioned here, you know, there are books as knowledge. You know, there's not something else or some sectarian or something that contaminates, uh, I mean, uh, disturbs people. You know, I was said they should you know, accept the books, uh, you know, give respect to the book, <coughs> so people become uh, enlightened, educated properly. Anyway, so. I just wanted to say something in regard to so Alanad was actually later on he went and did his own thing. Uh, I remember he came back to Germany at one point. <coughs> I don't know what year it was. So Harikesh was there, and Harikesh, uh, uh, oh, he came he came from Brazil, and he had uh, jaundice. Uh, so Harikesh kept him in the Schloss Rettershof in the castle, and and then he. Because he was actually he came to Germany at that time because there were some problems in Brazil, uh, so he couldn't go back. And uh, so Harry Kish told him, "No, why don't you go to Austria? We have nothing in Austria yet." Uh, and he said, "What Austria? Such a small place. You know, I was in charge of so many temples in Brazil. This is too small for me." <laughs> <laughs> then he went anyway. Yeah? Then he went anyway. Uh, and then uh, 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 no, he, he, he presented these questions to Sir Paul. And, uh, yeah. uh, because he had trouble in Austria at that time. Uh, so let's go on a little bit more. Uh, Any question? Yeah, can you talk about this? What is the date exactly? Uh, you got the reason for? These things should be prepared before class, you know. Yes, I know. It's it's a, it's a December tenth. It almost starts December tenth, nineteen seventy-five. This afternoon, I spoke with Hari Kesh and Hansa Duda Prabhus about my service. The Prabhupada is due to leave in a couple of days for Delhi and Bombay. Formerly we said Bombay, now we said Mumbai. And Gopal Krishna is constantly reminding me that he wants me to be Calcutta. I confess to them that I have become extremely attached to serving Prabhupada and I am not particularly enthusiastic about going to Calcutta. No, so Gopal Krishna is still the GBC in that area. Um, he wanted him to go to Calcutta you know, because he needed, apparently he needed something, somebody to take care of things there properly. And, uh, but Hari, uh, Hari Sauri is admitting here that he didn't want to go. He wanted to stay with Sri Lanka. <laughs> yeah. And before that occurred, actually when he, you know, the way he became the servant of Srila Prabhupada was that he had been, he came to, from Vandavan and, and he had some trouble, some problems in Vandavan. Uh, so he came to Delhi. You know? <coughs> and he, and I, remember, I don't remember the devotee's name, uh, but he, he had been Prabhupada's servant, giving him massage uh, before. And he was on his way to. We talked about this before. Yeah? <laughs> anyway, so he was on his way to Australia or New Zealand. I don't remember exactly. I don't remember his name. No. So he was almost out the door, and there was nobody uh, to replace him. Upendra? Upendra, right. Upendra, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Upendra was on his way out, yeah? and uh, so Harisuri, Harisuri appeared there. Uh, and so he, he just called him. You know? Upendra called him and, look, I'm leaving. Why don't you give uh, uh, a massage to your power? 
And he didn't have much time to teach him. No, if you give him a massage, he says, you come in and I show you. And then, then he left. <laughs> and there was nobody else. At that time, Hari Kesh was Prabhupada's secretary. Uh, Hans Rilla was the, the GVC. That the Prabhupada always had a GVC man with him for some time. Uh, and he, uh, to, to train him, and they were also writing the letters to, to the devotees. Yeah, Prabhupada received his letters, and the secretary would read it, read them to him. And then Paolo gave some ideas how to how to how to, say, to answer how to say, yeah, ideas for the for the answers. Uh, no, so Hari Kesh was also there, and Hari Kesh was not very very inclined to have uh, a Hari Saul in the group. <laughs> No, because there had been, like I said, there had been some problems in, in Vandavan. And because of the problems, also Hari Kesh had become like the, how you say, at that, at that time when the problems occurred, Prabhupada was also there. So Hari Kesh uh, 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 was replacing the, the president, the commander there, uh, no, for that time. So he didn't like the idea that Hari Sauri became the. Huh? The mic. Oh. No, he didn't, he liked, didn't like the idea that. Uh, Hari Sauri become the servant of Siddhartha. But anyway, like, uh, you know, when you continue to read you know, the, same, you know, the, the diary of Hari Sauri, you can see that actually Pama insisted he wanted to remain there. And they all, you know, they were, they were always thinking, no, he's not, not, not ready for that service or he's not qualified or whatever. But Hari, my Pama insisted that he stay. So what did Papa say to us when we can't get together? What did he say about that? When the host comes, you know, they, they don't like each other so much. Or what did he say about that? I don't remember, but I remember that sometimes when there were troubles and temples, Papa, first of all, he preached to them and encouraged them to do their service and, and, and work here, I'd say, uh, together. No? Uh, but sometimes also power said, no, this, you should go and open a temple there. But he also said, you can show your love for me by cooperating. how you work together. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. But power at that time, in the beginning, power was very interested to, to have more centers, more temples are everywhere. You, know, you go there, you, know, you go there, and you go there. And sometimes, you no, know, he just, like, like, like uh, Tamar Krishna was. No, he had. He was in charge of the of the sankirtan in America at one point, traveling sankirtan. They had big buses, and they were traveling around, and they started having problems with the temple presidents, because the the, 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 how you say, the, the way they how uh, was preached was that don't say in the temple that God grihastas are all like kind of you know, second class or whatever. <laughs> don't listen to them. You know, can't do that. And so the, the devotees, the temple presidents, complained to Srila Prabhupada. You know? And there was a meeting with uh, Srila Prabhupada, a meeting with the presidents. I don't know, don't know where it was, in India or in America somewhere. Anyway, so uh, at one point, you know, Tamar Krishna was hearing all the complaints. You know? And then at one point, Tamar Krishna said, maybe I should go to China. You know? <laughs> and Prabhupada said, yes, you go to China. <laughs> no, and then uh, 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 Krishna retracted <laughs> but Paul went no you go to China <laughs> and I remember when he went to China he went with Trishta Dumna uh, I, I don't think he was a sannyasi yet anyway Trishta Dumna and, uh, and Trishta Dumna was actually very helpful because his father was uh, selling whiskey in China. He had a company, and they were exporting whiskey to China. Uh, so, they, so they kind of, like, with the help of the father, not they got the visas and all that. So they went there, yeah. and it was uh, pretty uh, tense, yeah, you know, because you all know it was a communist, and at the time it was, you know, it was also heavy. Um, now they preach there. Yeah. No, I, I, I have contact with some devotees there, and you know, and they <coughs> they actually uh, 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 preaching very low. How you say low? How you say that? Uh, 
You know, Prophet, yeah, I know Prophet. Yeah, I saw a video also how they preach, yeah, mostly dressed in ordinary clothes. Huh? They are not allowed to preach, it's yeah, yeah. cultural. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a very close circle in the way they preach. Yeah. I have a, I have actually I have a disciple there, uh, a, a lady who's uh, working on, uh, and she's a music teacher. And she's actually not from there, she's, actually, she's from Venezuela, you know, from South America. And uh, uh, she's, a, she's a professional, how you say, high-grade high music kind of uh, teacher. Uh, you know, and so we, she has a contract. Before she used to go to work in, in, in India. You know, when she went to India the first time, she liked it so much uh, that she wanted to live there. <laughs> And she got a job. You know, he, he, she was looking for a job there. You know? And actually she worked in a, in a, I started working in an international school. You know, it, 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 we have some international school in India where rich people sent their children from, from all over the place. You know? <clears throat> so she started teaching there and then she ran out of job and, then, and the Chinese made an offer that she could come there. <laughs> Yeah, she said, in the beginning, when she started working, uh, uh, she sent me some videos of you know, how things were going there. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Anyway, so Prabhupada uh, was there still. And Prabhupada, you know, but during Prabhupada's presence, uh, you know, so many problems were solved you know, by Prabhupada's, how you say, Prabhupada's interference, how do you say it? Yeah. yeah. And I remember one thing, uh, 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 Ravindra, you know, he told us once that he had been in a temple uh, where Prabhupada was. And uh, so he, had a, he was to, supposed to speak to Srila Prabhupada and he was waiting. And he was waiting in the room where his servants were staying. So it took some time, you know, so he looked around and everything. And then he, 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 he saw that there was a folder, you know, the folder, was the folder, you know, where all the, the, the letters that Power had received, yeah, and the, and the answers of Srila Power were like that. You know. So he kind of you know, looked at it, you know, he got some letters out and started reading them, and he was surprised about the big problems that were, Power was solving. You know, besides his his uh, uh, translation and, and writing his books and all, he was also entangled with so many problems. And at the time of Srila Prabhupada, these problems were not so much, uh, how you say, known in other places of the world. <coughs> you have to understand, there was no internet, there was no, no face, Facebook, but Fratzenbuch, we could remember that. <laughs> And uh, uh, you know, so things were a little more, I said, a little more uh, discreet. You know, so. so Ravinda told us, so he was very surprised about what the problems were that Prabhupada was involved with, you know, that he was, had to solve. You know. yeah. Anyway, let's stop here. We'll go to Chaitanya Chaitanya. Any questions or comments? You want to add something? He just said, you know, give me a headache. Please help me take this headache away. Weak. The disciples called him a headache because we didn't work together or we create problems. And he just wants to do translation, but you know, it's not much to say. And what I admired so much is that he found time to answer a letter, even of a mother who sent him a, a jar of jam, homemade jam, or knitted a shawl for him. Sorry? She knitted a shawl, knitted yeah. a shawl for him, and he said, thank you very much for the nice shawl, or thank you much for the jam, it's very nice. So despite his busy schedule, and he slept not so much, you know, so he found time to be personal with, with, with everyone who wrote to him. Well, in this time, so many Prabhupada's were going to be goodbye to them, and we don't get a reply. <laughs> Because it's too much for them already, all the things in here, you know, in the little temple, etc.
Jaya Jaya Guru Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Guru Vatta Vinda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Guru Vatta Vinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Guru Vatta Vinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gura Vakra Vinda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gura Vakra Okay, so we're reading from the Chaitanya Chaitamata. Madhya Lila. Uh, first chapter and the verse 195. What is the Überschrift uh, des The later pastimes of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay. Tomarana Malanya Tomara Karira Nindana. Tomarana Malanya Tomara Karira Nindana. Saina Mahaira Taira Muktira Karana Saina Mahaira Taira Muktira Karana Tomara Nama Lanya Tomara Karila Nindana Tomara Nama Lanya Karila Nindana Saina Mahaira Taira Muktira Karana Saina Mahaira Taira Muktira Karana It's actually, it's actually Lanya. You know, this this N with this sign, you know, it means Lanya. This is just like in Spanish, it's what's saying. Yeah. Huh? Why not? Translation. Jagai and Madai utter your holy name by way of blaspheming you. 
Fortunately, that holy name became the cause of their deliverance. <coughs> so there's no turn here. We can continue. Jagai madai hai te koti koti guna Adama kati tapa piyami dui jana So we just continue reading only the translation. We too are millions and millions of times inferior to Jagai and Madai. We are more degraded, fallen and sinful than they. Necha jati necha sevi kari necha karma goparam manadu hi sangi amara sangama Actually, we belong to the caste of meat eaters because we <coughs> are servants of meat eaters. Indeed, our activities are exactly like those of the meat eaters. Because we are always associated with such people, we are inimical toward the cows and brahmanas. There are two kinds of meat eaters. One who is born in a family of meat eaters and one who has learned to associate with meat eaters. From Shila Rupa and Sanatan Goswamis, formerly David Kas and Sakida Mali, we can learn how one attains the character of a meat eater simply by associating with meat eaters. <coughs> At the present moment in India, the presidential offices are occupied by many so called Brahmanas. But the state maintains slaughterhouses for killing cows and makes propaganda against Vedic civilization. The first principle of Vedic civilization is the avoidance of meat eating and intoxication. Presently in India, intoxication and meat eating are encouraged, and so called learned Brahmanas presiding over this state of affairs have certainly become degraded according to the standard given here by Chirarupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami. These so-called brahmanas gave sanction to slaughterhouses for the sake of a fat salary, and they do not protest these abominable activities. By, <coughs> by deep precating the principles of Vedic civilization and supporting cow killing, they are immediately degraded to the platform of lechers and yavanas. A Mlecha is a Mirita, and Yavana is one who has deviated from Vedic culture. Unfortunately, such Mlechas and Yavanas are in exec executive power. How then can there be peace and prosperity in the state? The king or the president must be the representative of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. When Maharaj Yudhishthir accepted the rule of Bharata Varsha, formerly this entire planet, including all the seas and lands, he took sanctions. Uh, he took sanction from authorities like Bhishma Deva and Lord Krishna. He thus ruled the entire world according to religious principles. At the present moment, however, heads of state do not care for religious principles. If irreligious people vote on an issue, even though it be against the principles of the Shastras, the bills will be passed. The president and heads of the president and heads of state become sinful by agreeing to such abominable activities. Sanatan and Rupa Goswami pleaded guilty to such activities. They therefore classified themselves among the matches, although they had been born in a Brahmana family. <coughs> so the uh, Sanatana Goswami and Rupa Goswami you know, were complaining, I know, yeah, complaining about their position, uh, comparing them, no, saying that they were actually lower than uh, Jagai and Mother. Uh, you know, why is this? You know, continue reading, actually, because uh, uh, Jaya Madai had been born in a uh, Brahmin family. Uh, and they had never served, never accepted service 
But what to speak of accepting service in the government, the Mohammedan government? Uh, so that's why Sanatana Goswami and Rupa Goswami consider themselves more fallen than them. Uh, Kava says here, no one. Association no, can be very degrading if we're not careful. Uh, no, we sometimes no, you hear uh, questions from, the, from our congregation the other day. Again, when somebody asked, yeah, but I'm working. I'm working eight hours a day. Uh, no. how, can I, how can I avoid no, the, the, the influence of these people that accompany you doing work? Uh, no. And then, okay, so it was uh, 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 Marsh was giving the class and this lady asked him. Uh, no. And then on, uh, he, 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 he answered, he, no, he started answering and he asked me to, to also comment something about this. And I gave this example that Kaaba gave. Uh, you know, there was Raguna Goswami. He became Raguna Das Goswami later on. You know, he had been born in a very rich family. Uh, and he wanted to join uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement. He wanted to give up you know, his, his money, his, his home, his family like that. And, uh, you know, and the father, the senior members of the family didn't agree with this. And they put all kinds of impediments. Actually, he tried several times to to go away, to leave the family, and they always grabbed it again. You know? and, they, and later on, they put some guards that he, you know, making sure that he wouldn't be able to escape from family from the family. And, uh, and so uh, they um, so he asked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu what to do. At that time, there was no money. Wrote him a letter, a message. He asked, and he said, "What should I should do?" And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said something very interesting. He said, "Do you have to act just like a, a married lady who has a secret lover?" I said, "No, Paramore." I said, "No, Paramore." That's how he said it. No, and uh, no, as she is doing her service, no, home service, perfectly, to not not call the attention. <laughs> But in but inward, he's always thinking of a lover no? like that. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave him gave him this this advice. No? He should act like that. No? <clears throat> so he did it, no? and so his uh, family lost all. I say, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, suspicion, all suspicion. No? So they they didn't put any more guards and everything. No? And when the time was right, he escaped. He went. Jagannath so, Puri, the with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. She only died. So he escaped. And in the beginning, actually, his parents sent him uh, money. They sent him you know, different ailments, like that. I mean, not ailments, but uh, he, they assisted him like that from far away. Uh, and, uh, and so he always invited the devotees to take prasadam with him and this and that. No, and he also passed on to the, to the you know, his seniors uh, you know, what they had sent like that. You know? But then at one point he he uh, 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 didn't do that anymore. Uh, you know, he didn't because he he didn't want to accept any more assistance from his family. Uh, you know? So then uh, he started begging at the door at the Lions Gate in, in, in Jagannath Puri. You know, they have four. You know, Everyone has been there, knows that big gates there, four gates. You know, and the front gate is called the Lion's Gate, you know, where the Jagannath uh, uh, festival starts. Like, What is the name of the road there, the big road? You know? They have a very particular name. You know, anyway, so uh, no, he started standing there and begging. You know? so, and then uh, he, they, they noticed that he wasn't there anymore. And so uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked him, you know what, before you would invite me to eat and all this, what are you doing now? And then he, he said, no, I don't, I don't want to stand anymore. No, I, I started feeling like a prostitute, uh, you know, like dependent on others and like that. Anyway, so then uh, it became known that he was, was uh, living, he was taken prasad, not prasad, but he, I say the, the, the uh, no, but the cooks no, in Jagannath Puri, the cooks, they have more than 50 offerings a day there. 
to the Jagannath Puri. So they cook it a lot of time. And so anyway, so uh, it, be, it became known that he went to a place and, and where, the, where the cooks were throwing the, the burned, how do you say, what they had burned or something like that, you know, from the past. And he went there and, and, and cleaned it nicely and then he lived of this. You know. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard about that, you know, he went there. He went there. And he, uh, you know, he, he, no, he was just there and, Chay, uh, and, and uh, Ramana was, uh, uh, had a massive little, little had a quantity of this rice, of burnt rice or whatever it was. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to eat from that too. No, and, and Raghuna felt very embarrassed. What? No, I can't get you. But Chaitanya insisted, no, because he said, oh, that was very special, what, because it was his food. No, and he was a pure devotee. Uh, anyway, so I, I went off a little bit here. No, anyway, so the point is that uh, Rag, uh, Sanatana and Ruga Goswami were complaining. You know, they were you know, expressing their how you say that? Uh, yeah, expressing how they felt they were very low class. You know, they didn't deserve anything special. You know, so they were, how you say, they were uh, humbly surrendering to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, and as we know, they became very important uh, members of this movement. You know, actually, we are, you know, one of our names is we are. Rupanugas. No, Rupanugas, what does that mean? And we are following the Rupanuga. Uh, no, Rupa, uh, Rupa Goswami was actually, not Rupanuga, uh, yeah, Rupanugas. So because Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami actually became the most important, uh, I say, uh, followers no, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu later on gave you the instruction to go to Vrindavan. And uh, especially Rupa Goswami you know, to, uh, uh, how you say, investigate all different, you know, how you say, research, you know, the, the Vedic texts, all the Vedic texts, and, and search for, for, how you say, mentioning of pure devotional service, of devotional service. Uh, and on the basis of this, you know, like Rupa Goswami you know, compiled his Nect of Devotion, which is a very, very important book. Power used to call it. Actually, it says on the on the cover. I don't know in German. I don't know, no, but the science of uh, devotional service. Uh, so this is a very very important book. Uh, that's why also we are we are supposed to hear from that book every day. Uh, you know, that's why it's become a custom to you know, in, in many temples. I don't know all temples, but in many temples, they, you know, part of the morning program that we read from the from the neck of devotion, you know, bhakti rasa amitasindhi. So, then Bhagavan is speaking here about the, you know, the, how you say, corrupt, corrupt brahmanas, you know, who accept work. Uh, you know, actually, Brahman is not supposed to be dependent on anybody. Uh, you know, he should just be, to be dependent on Krishna for his maintenance or whatever else. You know, that's why normally it's also considered very, very good that Brahman, the Brahman is poor. Uh, this is actually one of the qualities of a, of a good Brahman that he's poor, uh, you know, that he doesn't have anything, <laughs> and depends completely you know, on the mercy of the Lord. Uh, and it's considered a pious activity to give a donation, to give donations to the Brahmins. No, because the Brahman is supposed to be completely transcendent, uh, transparent. No, everything he uses, he uses in the service, no, in the higher service. Uh, no, that's why it's, it's considered a pious activity. Or he assist a Brahman, give a Brahman a donation, or help in any way. <coughs> yeah, and the Brahmana is not supposed to become rich, <laughs> amassing money, amassing all kinds of opulence and things uh, for his sense gratification. Shamo Dhamma Tapa so Tapa is one of the, the uh, uh, qualities of the Brahman. You know, he's supposed to be austere. Uh, and, uh, and this is a, this very nice example of uh, uh, Chanakya Pandit. You know, Prabhupada used to uh, quote a lot Chanakya Pandit. And uh, 
No, I, I might have told this before here, no? but Chanakya Pani no, was a perfect Brahman. No, Pavad, sometimes Pavad said that he was not a Vaishnava, but he was a very, very cultured, how you say, cultured person? How you say that? Mm -hmm. Very cultured person. Anyway, no, so, and the Chanakya Sloki, no, Chanak, uh, 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 Satsvalu Maharaj no, uh, gave us a book of all the quotes of Chanakya, Chanakya Pani. I have it in my library over there. Anyway, no? so Sanaki Pandit was the first uh, the minister in the government of uh, uh, what is that? Yeah, he was a yeah he was the most important advisor I said, no? of the king. I don't remember the name of the king. Very famous king. Huh? No. no. Famous name. I, I don't know. No, he wasn't. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Prabhupada mentioned once that, that uh, this uh, uh, king, under the guidance of Chanakya Pani, was able to get the Greeks out of north of India. Yeah? He had invaded parts of India. Yeah. Anyway, so Chanakya Pani, it's mentioned that he lived outside the palace. And he would never go into the palace of the king to not become confused by all the opulence and all that. He lived in a very small you know, hut outside the, the palace. Uh, you know, and the king would come, come on foot. You know. They were not carrying a palanquin or anything like that. Uh, 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 and he came on foot to take advice. Uh, and Prabhupada, uh, one, I heard this some time back, and Prabhupada mentioned that Chanakya Pandit he would give an instruction to the king. He asked his question, and he gave an instru uh, instruction, and not discuss anything. If the king didn't accept, okay, bas, finished. <laughs> and he lived you know, very, very simply, you know? and uh, uh, he he was very, very, I say, very, very intelligent. You know, Prabhupada used to, like I mentioned before, he, Prabhupada used to, you know, used to quote a lot Chanakya Pandya. Anyway, so Brahmana, you know, the ideal Brahmana is that, you know, that he is poor, limited to his bare necessities. And what is the function of the Brahmana and the Brahmanas in society? Most of all, learning, learn, learning and teaching. Uh, you know, learning from the Shastra and teaching. Uh, I remember Prabhupada, you know, there was a, was a discussion, with, you know, a conversation with Prabhupada, and Prabhupada said that, yeah, every teacher, everyone who teaches is actually Brahman. <clears throat> of course, uh, in Kali Yuga it's a little different. You know, they all receive uh, money for their jobs and this and that. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, they're protesting. You know, they want more, I say, uh, in, uh, income. Uh, you know, especially here in Germany, I notice. And the, there's always in the, in the, in the news, you know, speaking about they don't have enough teachers, no? the teacher and people don't want to become teachers because they don't get enough money. And not only that, also because they have so many problems with, with the modern children nowadays, who are very degraded, very, I say, no? and as soon as the teachers get heavy on the children, uh, they get all kinds of problems. No? Uh, I say from the, from the parents and from they they, they are confronted with lawyers and all that. <laughs> no, anyway, so no Brahmins are supposed to be real Brahmins, uh, and Prabhupada also no Prabhupada mentioned also this actually this movement, no uh, uh, one of the uh, I say, uh, one of the uh, uh, goals no, is to create first class no? men and women. Uh, and that's actually what it means, Brahmins. Uh, you want to say something? Add something? No? So we continue reading the Chaitanya Charitamrita. It says, Asur, okay, yeah. Mora karma, mora hati galaya vandiya, 
Kuvishaya Vishtagarte Diyache Pradaya. The two brothers, Sakira Malika and Dabi Kasa, very humbly submitted that due to their abominable negativities, they were now bound by the neck and hands and had been thrown into a ditch filled with abominable, stool like objects of material sense enjoyment. Srila <coughs> Bhakti Siddhanta Sadaswali Thaku has explained Ku Vishaya Garta as follows. Because of the activities of the senses, we become subjected to many sense gratificatory processes and are thus engaged, no, sorry, and are thus entangled by the laws of material nature. This entanglement is called Vishaya. When the sense gratificatory processes are executed by pious, acti uh, by pious activity, no, when the sense gratificatory processes are executed by pious activity, they are called su vishaya. The word su means good, and vishaya means sense objects. When the sense gratificatory activities are performed under sinful conditions, they are called ku vishaya, bad sense enjoyment. In either case, either ku vishaya or su vishaya. These are material activities. As such, they are compared to stool. In other words, such things are to be avoided. To become free from su vishaya and ku vishaya, one must engage himself in the transcendental loving service of Krishna, the Supreme Person of Godhead. The activities of devotional service are free from the contamination of material qualities. Therefore, to be free, from the reactions of Suvishaya and Kuvishaya, one must take to Krishna consciousness. In that way, one will save himself from contamination. In this connection, Chidanaratamana's Thakur has sung Karma Kanda Jnana Kanda Kevara Vishaya Vanda Amrita Valiya Vikaya Nana Yoni Sada Pile Kadarya Vakshana Kare Suvishaya and Kuvishaya both fall under the category of Karma Kanda. There is another Kanda, platform of activity, called Jnana Kanda, or philosophical speculation about the effects of Kuvishaya and Suvishaya, with the intention to find out the means of deliverance from material entanglement. On the platform of Jnana Kanda, one may give up the objects of Kuvishaya and the Suvishaya, but that is not the perfection of life. Perfection is transcendental to both Jnana Kanda, Jnana Kanda and Karma Kanda. It is on the platform of devotional service. If we do not take to devotional service in Krishna consciousness, we have to remain within this material world and endure the repetition of birth and death due to the effects of jnana kanda and karma kanda. Therefore Narottamana Stakwa says, Nandayoni sadapire kadariya vakshana kare tarajanmaharapartiyaya One travels throughout various species of life and eats all kinds of nonsense. Thus he spoils his existence. A man in material existence and attached to Kuvishaya and Suvishaya is in the same position as that of a worm in stool. After all, whether it be moist or dry, stool is stool. Similarly, material activities may be either pious or impious, but because they are material, they are compared to stool. Worms cannot get out of stool by their own endeavor. Similarly, those who are overly attached to material existence cannot get out of materialism and suddenly become Krishna conscious. Attachment is there, as explained by Prada Maharaj and Srimad Bhagavatam 7.5.13.
Matirna Krishna Paratha Svatova Vitovi Abjeta Griha Pratanam Adanta Gobir Vishatam Tanishram Puna Punas Charvita Charvana Charvananam Those who have made up their minds to remain in this material world and enjoy sense gratification cannot become Krishna conscious. Because of their attachment to material activity, they cannot <coughs> they cannot attain liberation either by the instructions of the superior person or by their own endeavor or by passing resolutions and big conferences. Because their senses are uncontrolled, they are gradually sent to the darkest region of material existence to repeat the same process of birth and death in desirable and undesirable species of life. There is actually very famous words that Prahlad Maharaj probably used to quote him a lot. Anyway, so the translation was those who have made up their minds to remain in the material world and enjoy sense gratification cannot become Krishna conscious. Because of their attachment to material activity, they cannot attain liberation, either by the instructions of superiors, a superior persons, or by their own endeavor, or by passing resolutions and big conferences. Because their senses are uncontrolled, they gradually descend to the darkest regions of material existence to repeat the same process of birth and death in desirable and undesirable species of life. No. Anyway, so uh, when Prahlad Maharaj, mm -hmm. you heard the word Prahlad Maharaj recently, uh, and Hiranyakashipu. <coughs> and uh, this is actually part of the prayers. You know, when, when the Shingadev had appeared, uh, you know, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, right? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what am I saying about Chaitanya? And Prahlad Marsh, uh, you know, uh, 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 had gone to him uh, you know, to pacify him, so to say, you know, because it, it, the demigods and when Chaitan, the thing that appeared, you know, there was a big assembly, but they all maintained a distance from, from the thing that they uh, and he was still in this angry mood. He was <laughs> so nobody, nobody. How you say? They all feared him more or less, you know, and they maintained a big distance. So then uh, 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 they encouraged Pallad. They told Pallad, Pallad, he came for you. Please go and do something and pacify him. You know? And I even heard, you know, some time back, I heard that they gave him a garland to put him on the Singade. And uh, so as soon as the Singade saw Pallad Marsh, he changed his mood completely. Uh, and he took him on his lap. And, and then, like I mentioned, during the, uh, uh, the Singade uh, day, appeared in Chetumas. A chatu, a shiga chatu, this is. So he sat him on his lap and he started, how you say, licking him. It says in Ra Brahma, uh, in the ba Bhagavatamita, no, it's mentioned there. You know, why? Because you know, normally, normal parents, they just smell the head you know, of the child. <laughs> and I asked, is that true? And, I, and all the guy has to say, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, because he was a lion, no, he was a half man, half lion, he started licking him. <laughs> and then uh, Pranat Maas offered prayers to the singer. Incredible prayers. Father used to quote so many of these prayers. And uh, uh, this is one of them. Uh, you know that he... No, uh, uh, when, when, when the singer they've offered a blessing to Prahlad Marsh, Prahlad Marsh told him, no, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to make business with you. I'm not serving you to get some, something out of it. 
You know, I'm completely, I don't need anything. I have everything I need, I don't need anything. Uh, no. But then he, then he you know, said, but please bless my father. Uh, and in this same connection, I heard a class of Prabhupada speaking about that. And, and Prabhupada said, you know, just like Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ showed the same, how you say, the same mood. And uh, even though they were, they had tortured him, they had crucified him, he prayed to the Lord. He said, oh, please forgive them, because they don't know, I said, they don't know what they, they're doing. Yeah. Anyway. So, and then Prahlad Maharaj also, in his prayers, also mentioned that, that uh, no, uh, uh, I, I'm go I, I have no problem, but I, I care for those who are not in the same position. You know, who is suffering unnecessarily, uh, you know, completely overwhelmed by this illusory energy. You know, and that is also part of that, you know, this connection, this prayer is also there. Anyway, so we heard a lot about Nusingadev lately. <laughs> I'm trying to hear the, hear the classes they gave in, in, in the singer uh, uh, Kshetra, on Sihachala. Yeah. Yeah, it's difficult to find them there. Pardon? I only heard uh, Bhakti Bhai Bhav Maharaj give a class. Uh, it's different. They uh, put it out in different sections. Of oh, yeah. Of yeah. Thing, you know, his duration, uh, the diplomacy of his lecture. It's all separate. Uh -huh. it's all yeah, anyway, I tried to find them. Yesterday I heard the class of Bhakti Bhai Bhav Maharaj. Because class of uh, after the reading, uh, after the First, Satyananda Swami and, Sachi, and Sister Seta Swami spoke, and then afterwards, Bhagavad Swami spoke after the dramatic reading. Yeah. Bhakti Prabhupada Swami spoke the day after that. Oh, yeah. So it's, it, it's in the, maybe the, they put it on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I must have found them. I cannot have found them. I don't remember. No, I only found them. Have, have you seen the new outfit, the new armor, gold plated? No, I didn't. Oh, gorgeous. And then they have a sandesh outfit. So, all the Mataji's, they made a sandesh outfit. One sandesh, the they covered him with sandesh. Sandesh, and then they had also like squares, like a decoration, you know, squares with different colors, red, pink, and the lapis in a different color sandesh. <laughs> you know, one. It looked very beautiful, and then another outfit was flowers and forests. So they had like five different outfits in the day. A day. Oh, a day. Oh, I mean, they offered five different ones. Yeah, they get more and more. First it was one, then two, and now it's five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I miss them very much. So. That's for really. Anyway, maybe we should continue. Or if any questions? Or? Maharaj, I have a question. That's from Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, when we're talking now about Surah and uh, Asura. Yeah. 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 What should have happen in the life of the Asura that he or she is changing completely the mind and uh, and doesn't start in there to serve. Sorry, what? What should has happen in the life of Asura that that uh, that this uh, Jiva as it becomes uh, Krishna conscious? Well, this is uh, our movement is meant for that. <laughs> Need to change our our, how you say, like a material or demonic nature to, to Vaishnavism. Yeah. So become a <coughs> of course, they are very determined demons also, who will never accept it. Yeah. Or even start working against you know, the movement of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. They, say, they say every saint has a past, and every sinner has a future. Anyway, there's hope. 
And more and more, Kiva will become Krishna conscious. That's our, that's, that's our service to Srila Prabhupada. To assist Srila Prabhupada in his mission. Yeah. That's what Prabhupada was waiting for. You know, just like I gave the example the other day, you know, just like the father is expecting his son to grow up and, 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 and how do you say, uh, uh, take part you know, in the family business, so to say. You know, and and uh, even become more su- more successful than his father. So that's what the father desires, that his son becomes more su- more successful, you know, more ex- more success. Just like we had a program yesterday, and we, you know, and uh, with the Indians in one place, I don't remember the name. What was the name of the movie? Huh? Omkara. Omkara. Kapil. Isn't it so good for Omkara? No, Kapil. And they're mostly Indians. Huh? Mm-hmm. And he presented us the whole family. You know, like the, the, the brother of the father and the, and the, si- and the sister. No, not sister. Uh, yeah, the sister of his, of his aunt and. Who knows what? <laughs> a lot of Indians. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And uh, and they're very proud of of uh, the, the the descendants they have, you know, the descendants that invited us. You know, he become a devotee, very very devotional, you know, and all the family members were very <coughs> much appreci- very appreciative. Very appreciative. Very appreciative. Besides that, he's very successful in his business also. You know? Yeah, he gives a lot of donations here, you know, famous vegetables and, and fruit, and you know, he has a, uh, he's a wholesaler, how do you say, how do you, how? Wholesale, 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 yeah, wholesale. Mm-hmm. Uh, in food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so he brings, you know, he makes a lot of offerings here. You know? mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, so, so, you know, they're, they're very, and they not only appreciate him, also his devotion, you know, like, and he has become a devotee, you know, and, 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 uh, no? Yeah? They are very, very, I say, very proud of him, no? <laughs> That's what I mentioned, no? Also that, that he invited you there, so... Huh? Also that he invited you there, they appreciate very much. Oh. Most of them I didn't know. Yeah. And because he's a surrendered soul, they all kind of, you know, all started also giving donations and, and, and gifts and shall we don't know in pullover. They're very respectful to the guru. So this is Yeah, that's in, very that's, 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 that's that's yeah. India. India. Yeah. 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 What one time in Sri Lanka I visited in Indian okay. land. This is this is my wife, this is my other son. This is my middle son, this is my third son and the father said to share them. <laughs> yeah, this was, yeah, when they all left, I was like, this was my sex life. <laughs> Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama. Yeah, any more questions, comments? Yeah. It's very wonderful, <coughs> this family, that he is so, you know, like his attitude is perfect. And especially that he helped the temple. And this way the temple can become more financially stable. Yeah. You know, just have only, you know, if the congregation, I always say like on a Sunday lecture, I say, you know, if, if you come to the temple, so I say, it's like if you visit your mother-in-law or so, you bring a present, some flowers, some fruit, you know, so really bring something, you know, not only ask for blessings, but bring something. Yeah. You can give a donation, but also something from your heart. I think. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see in India, no? in India when you go to the temples, they all have a big box in front of the altar. Yeah. Where, and people come and put packages of of rice and this and that, and fruit and vegetables and, and maybe yogurt or something like that. That's actually t- the tradition. 
the deeper in the Athena rather than man with the widow, it is one stick of incense, you know, that whatever you can give, you know, but like in the Danak, very rich people, you know, stick, stick, chapati flower. So I always had Pujari there, and everyone was bringing chapati flower back, so say, bring an excellent thing, pineapple or some avocado or, oh, yes, yes, yes. So now that the, and they feel fortunate, no? That you Pardon? they feel very fortunate you that you asked for this. Yeah, 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 especially because we had so much chapati flour at the manor, you know. <laughs> and uh, and now in Amsterdam also they have a bucket and they can put the flowers in there and then put the things on the top. Yeah, also in India they normally be in, uh, at the gates, no, of the temples. They have a lot of people selling things, flower garlands and all these things. Yeah. <laughs> and also, they, I also saw what they have there is, they sell, uh, they, uh, yeah, they sell uh, uh, paisa. You know? What? Big quantities of paisa. You know, like, paisa. Now they don't have paisa. the paisa anymore. Now it's only rupees. No? Paisa was like the scent of a, of a, of a oil, no? no? Yeah. And a, a, a whole lot of these aluminium coins, you know? And then the people would get them and throw them to the altar, you know? And the pujari would come with a, with a broom, right? A broom. And, and get all the, the, the aluminium <laughs> together. And you know that obviously a gopadam to give to the beggars, you know, was sitting there in rows and then chains and then pull. And you give them all the coins. And all the, the big uh, temples in India, the traditional temples, they. Uh, oh, what is the point now? I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you go to uh, Sri Rangam or all these in the south of India, these temples, they collect so much money, no? donations. They have huge sacks. No? And not, not, they, they, they hang from the ceiling like that and full of money, you know. <laughs> and people come and throw in, you know. Yes. And, and uh, 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 no, the government, no, seeing this, takes a tax from them, from the donations. Yeah. They take a tax and they use these taxes for what they see fit, you know, kind of. Before it was all calculated. Yeah. But now it's all they even have take from these donations they take. I saw this when I when we were at one of these temples, and then the, the government car came and took the sack off. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a few years ago remember that the five hundred rupee bill was cancelled. It was worthless. So everyone gave it to the temple. <laughs> yeah, the government did that. They, they said, yeah. I see. Because there's so many yeah. false cheaters. Yeah, no, because they, they, it was black money. Black market, yeah. People would keep money, big quantities of bills, to, to not show. So nobody knew how, know how much they were earning like that. And so the government just made it nullify the 500 yeah. rupee bills. Well, the devotees also <laughs> had to change their money. <laughs> so it was worthless. Did you know this? Yeah. yeah. Was many years back, no? I think two years back. Two years? Yeah. Two, two years. Two, three, four, five years. OK, thank you very much. Thank you.